Maybe it's working now. Nihon Falcon Corporation. Oh, good. Maybe it's working now. I hear music and I hear myself, so I'm gonna assume yes. Is it still working though, since I had to click in and out? Therein lies the question. Hopefully it's still good. E, I got hosting. Guys, I'll give me some sign when we're back and I will proceed. to work anyway. Okay, good. Also, I fixed the moderation, so you guys should be free and clear to say everything offensive on the scope of the planet, but please use your judgment to not be an awful douche person. Yeah, there you go. See? All our favorite four and three letter words are now free game. We're adults here, mostly. I say after I just finished noshing on like mochi ice cream, but it's fine. My diet is good. It's great. <laughs> we'll give a few minutes for everybody else to come back from their breaky things, because I think I did that pretty quickly. Let's do a bonus mode for sheets and giggles. Oh good. Welcome back. Uh, let's just fight a random boss for the hell of it. How about this guy? He was cool. Fuck! Oh, wow. I was not ready for this. Ah! I'm doing bad, you guys.
Oh, he's going to do the lightning thing again. Hey, weird guy! Playing some East. I'm just doing a quick boss thing real fast while I wait for people to go so back in so we can continue with the story. And this is good practice for how much I suck. Always bad about dodging, huh? Ah! Crap, 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 crap. Ah! God damn it! Oh, must you? You asshole. Ah! God. I'm not doing well at this. Oh! Welcome back from gaming! Dungeons and Dragons or something else? This guy keeps vomiting these little fire chickens at me. sucks a lot is when you're in a fight like this and you have an itch that you need to scratch on your nose. Ow. Almost got him. Ah, but I'm gonna die in the lava. these before. I forgot there was actually like a leaderboard. Cool. Alright. A dwarf bard. Nice. Let's get back on with the story. So we just had emotional moments kind of and then he's like nah man I don't feel things. And now I need to go find some evil so I can get through a door. Boop. What I need to do is... Threndor Longbeard, son of Durin the Fifth, House of Durin's Folk of Moria. Wow, that's impressive. Nicely done, sir. Ah! Stop <laughs> doing that to me, you jerk! Oh, actually, I... I 
I do still need that. Ow! Ow! Why are you so mean? Why are you gotta be like that? Man, these guys are particular assholes. Come here, you. That's what you get. Ah! Ring's power has been restored. Crap. Okay, so uh, that takes care of that. The evil ring has been charged up. Oh, that's right. I can't go through there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Whoops. So let's save and heal. Let's uh, let's look for some blessings. Yes, strengthen my boots. Thank you. Hmm. I don't have enough for any of these. Crap. Fine then. I should save, though. Alright, so... I'm gonna show you guys... what absolutely under no circumstances ever do this. And back when I played this game, I was playing it in Japanese, so of course I was doing a lot of guesswork. Uh... You think, oh, alright, I gotta go be evil to get through that door. Well, I just charged up the evil ring. Seems like I should go ahead and put it on. Don't do it. Don't do that. Just don't. You're welcome. <laughs> I found that out the hard way the first time I played. However, there's a trick. That definitely required, like, dialogue to understand, so... It, yeah. Hmm? What's that ring you've got? May I see it? That's about as cursed as they get, to be sure. It should definitely be enough to get you through that door. I wouldn't be so hasty to put it on, though. I imagine it would drive any ordinary person insane to wear it, at best. It's hard to believe Lathena is in there. I really wish there was something I could do to get her out. Alright, so... Let's put this on. That nice little necklace we got from Rico way back at the beginning that apparently stops evil magic. Evil magic. Hint. Hint. Look at that, I'm fine. And the power drained out, so... It worked! Nicely done, Hugo. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without your expertise. 
Now come on, let's get inside. Lady Fina. Hugo, Katina, Musa. A barrier? Damn. Lady Fina, are you injured? I'm all right. There's no need to worry. It's quite strong, but it's not harmful in any way. It seems designed solely to keep me in one place. Well, thank goodness for small favors, I suppose. Y yeah. In any event, I can't believe you actually made it all the way here. I don't know how I could ever properly thank you. Please, direct your gratitude toward Hugo. His efforts are what made this meeting possible. <laughs> Is that so? Then from the bottom of my heart, I give you my thanks, Hugo Fact. <sighs> You've gone through so much on my account, even fighting your own brother. Words cannot express my regret. <sighs> you had nothing to do with that. The fight was instigated by me, after all. And I only lost because I was the weaker man. Nothing more, nothing less. Hugo. While imprisoned in this room, I had a brief opportunity to speak with him. And I assure you, despite his actions and his appearance, he's still the man he's always been. I'm absolutely certain of it. In fact, he seems to be worried about you. He didn't say as much, but I could clearly see it in his eyes. So please, won't you give... Just stop! This is a family issue. It doesn't involve you, and I'd thank you to keep your nose out of our business. Hugo! Now hold on, you can't talk to Lady Fina that way. No, he's right. It's not in my place to lecture him. I'm sorry, Hugo. I didn't mean to upset you. That's quite all right. Thank you. I don't know who's screaming for Lady Fina, so... Lady Fina! <laughs> oh, it's Unica. I forgot what voice I gave her last night. It's somewhere in the high range, so we'll just roll with it. Lady Fina! Thank goodness you're safe! I I've... Unica, and the rest of you, too. It's so good to see you. Sure took you guys long enough to get here, though. Our apologies. We met with fierce resistance. I hope you've not been kept waiting long, Lady Fina. Yay, the whole gang's here. So now it's just a matter of breaking through this barrier. Right, but that's a lot easier said than done. There's some pretty intense magic at work here. Fortunately, it's an enchantment rather than a curse. So I'm pretty confident we'll be able to dispel it, given enough time. Excellent. We'll stand guard, then, to ensure your safety until the task is complete. Hopefully, we can secure Lady Fina's freedom with minimal delay. No, that won't be necessary. Pardon? Lady Fina? We never intended for any of you to get involved in this matter. Rhea and I were fully prepared to resolve it on our own. But you're here now, and as I'm presently indisposed, I see little choice but to seek your assistance. It pains me to speak of this, but will you hear me out? D of course. Whatever you wish, my lady. Yeah, there's still a lot we don't know about what's going on down here. 
I think I speak for all of us when I say that any information you can provide would be more than welcome. Thank you. As you know, for the last several years, East has been perpetually invaded and ransacked by demons. What you may not know, however, is the reason behind these attacks. Believe it or not, the Black Pearl and the Clarion Metal are to blame. So, like, music? I'm thinking? Sorry. What? You can't be serious. So those Outlanders aren't the ones responsible for this mess? Well, they're involved now, certainly. They've exercised full control over the demons, after all. But they're not responsible for the demons themselves, no. That dubious honor goes to the Black Pearl, which inadvertently awakened what we call the Demonic Essence. The... Demonic Essence? It's hard to put into words. Think of it as a malicious will. The very essence of demonism itself. Basically, the dark side of magic. And just as the Black Pearl spreads magical abilities far and wide, so too does it spread this malevolent energy. As it spreads, it distorts the Earth, twisting and reshaping it until it takes on demonic form and comes to life. And the Claria in the ground serves to amplify this effect, exactly as it does with magic. Essentially, as long as there exist veins of Claria in the Earth, the distortions will grow worse and more demons will spawn. That's why we, along with the six priests, sealed it all away in chambers cut off from the Black Pearl's influence. Dang, Lyriquin. Go get some sleep. Good night. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> Everybody's just like, dot, dot, dot. Yeah! See you next time! But now the demonic essence is at its strongest here, on the surface. That this tower's existence clearly illustrates the darklings have somehow learned to harness it for their own gain. And our goal is to seal it away, back into the Black Pearl from whence it came, for all eternity. Words fail me. I can see why you kept quiet about this for so long. We could very well be looking at a complete paradigm shift for all of East. Our entire way of life is at stake. That's correct. The Sorcerer Dallas intends to obtain the Black Pearl and stimulate the demonic essence within, granting it physical form. Since Rhea has it now, we can be assured our enemy's attention is focused squarely on her. But if she should be captured... Well, suffice it to say, we mustn't allow that to happen. Please, find Rhea, and help keep the Black Pearl out of enemy hands. We knights shall guard her with our lives. You can count on us. I still have one question, though, if I may. Certainly. The Black Pearl and the Claria have sustained our people for quite some time. So I do understand why the two of you came here in secret. To some extent, anyway. But why were even the six priests kept unaware of your intentions? Ah. Uh. They are your trusted retainers, no? And they're just as concerned with preventing public unrest as you, so I'm certain they'd have kept your secret. Yet you obviously came here without consulting a single one of them. So either you're still hiding something from us, or you're just flat out lying. <laughs> 
bastard. Do you still doubt the goddesses even after everything we've just heard? go again. No, Hugo's right. There is more to tell. But at present, it's little more than a theory on our part. Until I can be certain of its accuracy, I'd prefer not to speak of it. I hope you understand. <sighs> All right, I won't push the matter. And I apologize if my asking caused you any undue discomfort. But just to confirm, once you've reached a conclusion as to the accuracy of your theory, you will be full of pfft, words. You will be more forthcoming about it, won't you? You have my word. Lady Fina. All right, is everyone ready? We have a new mission, and that's our top priority. Should the Black Pearl fall into the enemy's hands, the demonic essence will be unleashed and all will be lost. We must find Lady Rhea as quickly as we can and become her shield. Yes, sir! Said everyone, basically. And so the Holy Knight's search for Lady Rhea continued each night feeling a renewed sense of urgency. Hooray! Meanwhile, Hugo goes off to be alone, because that's what he does. And they're going to look after her. And there's loot, so I'm going to grab it. Hmm, a key. I believe there's a door that needs that key. <laughs> Angsting intensifies. <sighs> you sure can be a pain in the ass, you know that? But I guess if you weren't, we'd think something was wrong with you. <laughs> no need to worry about Lady Fina. We can dispel this barrier for sure. It's just going to take some time. The most helpful thing you can do right now is to keep scaling the tower. We'll be able to handle things here, I promise. Bye, lady. My voice died. <coughs> what is it now? Well, um, I just wanted to tell you, I think you were right to say what you said. And I don't think Lady Fina minded. But, uh, uh... Spit it out already. What are you getting at? Well, I'm worried about you. I know you want to be respected and looked up to, but you're always making a scene. Always making people mad. And I know you're probably just really irritable because of your family and your brother and everything, but still... Uh, I'm pretty sure you aren't going to take me up on this, since you never have before. But I... I just want you to know that I'm... Will you just leave me the hell alone already? If you'd stop stammering for one second and actually listen to what I have to say, maybe you'd finally get it. You think I want to be respected and looked up to? You think I'm letting my brother's indiscretions or my position go to my head? Seems you must know me better than I know myself, because that's all news to me. I didn't... I wasn't trying to... Look, I don't want to hear it. Just get out of my sight already, will you? I'll keep my own counsel, thank you. I'm sure as hell not going to take advice from you. You go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. The Pona told me the exact same thing. And I actually bothered listening to her. What the hell is wrong with me? 
You really are an ass. Kadina. I'm pretty sure they heard you two all the way up in Solomon's Shrine just now. Not exactly your proudest moment, Hugo. Are you going to lecture me too? Of course not. That wouldn't do me any good at all. You'd probably just flip out on me. That's what you tend to do whenever anyone gets a little too close for comfort. And considering your reaction, I'd say Musha hit the nail right on the head. Hi, Anarsis! I'm sorry, you just missed some serious, intense things with Hugo yelling at poor Musha. It was horrible. He's a dick. We all hate him right now. <laughs> well, you just think about what you did while you're off gallivanting around in the tower, okay? Once you've come to your senses, I suggest you apologize to the poor girl. I think even you must realize you did bad. Anyway, be careful out there. Don't let those end up being your last words to Musha. It was pretty awful. The rest of the chat can attest, I think. <laughs> I should go. Climbing this tower is not the only good I can do right now, I think. Find me to get Hugo some therapy. <laughs> You're not wrong, Galushi. You're not wrong at all. <laughs> she was basically doing more of that, hey, you know, I care about you if you wanna just like, if you wanna talk to me about the stuff that's bugging you, I'm here for you, etc. And he straight out told her to shut the hell up and go away. I, I don't think I'm even saying it as rudely as he did. It's horrible. Oh shit, I don't have the bell equipped. Shit, those guys aren't gonna die properly. Besides Hugo being the worst, <laughs> I am great. He is absolutely the worst, and yet somehow he remains my favorite character. I'm horrible that way. What the fuck are those? Okay, not not gonna bother with those assholes. Oh, the VM class was good. Um very very intro level, so like, not a ton of stuff I didn't already know, but it was good practice to, like, get live direction and feedback, because I don't often get that with the way I work. Wagons. Come here, wagons.
Yay! Yeah, your unfettered stuff looked super intense and awesome. And I can't believe you're you're stuck running a game for like two people and so you have to have a billion NPCs. That seems rough. <laughs> Why do you not have more players, man? Oh my god, what is that? shit on. Aww. Okay, gotcha. So they were they were from a a home game. Understood. Yeah that's that's forever more challenging to get people like local. Get off of me! Yeah, good plan! Not to speak for them, but I would imagine that quite a few critters, including some of my players, would be more than happy to join another game. I just signed myself up as a player for a Planescape game um, soon. It's not going to be streaming though, but I think they might end up putting the stuff on YouTube's. With some critters I've been wanting to actually play with for a long time. Yeah! I don't know if it's going to be a long running campaign necessarily, but it's more like a we're going to play and see where it ends up. These pillars! Fuck! <sighs> A brick? Seasons of one shots. Sounds awesome. Seriously, please poach my people a little bit. 
fuck these pillars. What? Hmm. This looks like fun. Th this looks not like fun at all. Ah! ah! Fuck! 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 fuck. That was painful. Ah, ha, ha. All right, which way do I go? Shield just got stronger. This is good. Maybe this way. Don't. No. 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 Fucking slippery sand. Ah! No, 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 let me go this way. No! Fuck! Ugh. Maybe I'll wait until I get the. There's like some scratchy shoes that'll let you stay on that without sliding. Find them. Hmm. That might be the way I needed to go. Ow! God, fuck this dragon! Get away from me! Get away! Please! Why are you guys following me? Look at this. I bet I know what needs to be done here. Oh, hello, boys. Fuck everything! Seems appropriately in character for Hugo right now. He's basically just angry at all the things, right? Mm. Oh, alright. But I want to go back to the... Uh, ow. I want to find that, um, other room again. Yeah. Ah! Bollocks. <laughs> He's so emotional. He's so emo. Jeez. Just stupid angsty teenager. Or, well... I might be making an assumption that he's a teenager. They never really say. <laughs> Pull it for my Valentine. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> what the fuck did that thing just do? Ah, fuck these bugs! Die! I hate them so much. 
Ah! You know... See, this gives me the great idea to like put some shit like this in a dungeon somewhere in a D&D &D game. All will feel my pain. Whoops, that was not the one I wanted to use. Wow, those things. Ah! <laughs> ha! Uh, uh. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. Let's see where this leads. Oh, more of that shit, huh? Hmm. Claria! Uh, the damage is pretty minimal. I'm also playing on easy mode because I'm lazy and a pansy. Uh, but if I if it were on normal mode, I would be taking significantly more damage. Also, if I've got this thing on, um, the the damage is pretty pretty minuscule. Okay, so I'm stuck here, maybe. Ow. Ouchie. Alright, fine. Oh, I guess I could go here. Uh... See, it's basically Featherfall with a shield. Ooh. Right. I am gonna teleport on down and get my weapon strengthened. Put Rico to work. Hey, dude. I guess I should talk to him. So all this time it was Claria, huh? One of the pillars of our utopian lifestyle. A product of the Black Pearl. And the whole time we were forging trinkets and household items with it, we were unknowingly birthing demons? We were basically forging our own destruction, little by little. Well, let's not overstate things. The Claria didn't birth demons, it simply enhanced the effects of the Black Pearl. It's a bit disturbing, yes, but right now it's little more than trivia. Our attention should be focused solely on finding Lady Rhea. We can worry about the societal implications of Claria once she's safe and sound. That's a bit cold, but I can't deny that you're right. <laughs> Fretting about life on East isn't going to mean much if there's no longer any East to go back to. If you need me to temper your weapon, you just let me know, okay? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> That's a, hmm. So many concepts to just straight up steal from this game. <laughs> Thanks, man! Can I get some blessings? Mm. I can afford this one. Like halfway through and such. Mm 
Ah! Oh man. Yeah, I'm glad I went back and strengthened my weapon. Now I can actually kill them in reasonable time. Oh my god, these guys. Come here, draggies. Come here. Come here. I did find my way to that other treasure chest, right? I think I did. Oh, looky. Pretty sure I found the potential boss door. Or at least the medallion door. God, get this thing off my head! Wow, that was the actual worst. Okay. I wonder... that one area that I tried to slide that other door, but I wonder if I do just have to 
suck it up and try to glide over there. But now I can't remember how to get back there because I'm a moron. that door back there? No, because that was this. Oh my god, why do I suck so bad? I told you 90% of the reason this game takes me so long is because I get lost all the time, right? <laughs> I know. That is one of the things. This game doesn't actually have maps. Wow. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I tried. Oh no, 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 no. Whoo! That was difficult. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, nope, that's not gonna happen. This is where I get the cool boots, I think. Or maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, look at all that blood that came out of me. There it is. That's what I need. Come at me, bros. Yay! Plow shoes. So much blood on these adorable ass chibis, it's kind of disturbing. Look at that, now I can walk on- OW! Like this- OW! Like it was normal terrain. Uh. Oh my god, what are these guys doing? I didn't know they could jump. New shoes, get! Although I think it's more like they strap onto the shoes. Whatever. Either way, it means I can walk across this slippery ass ground.
Also, this stage is nothing for getting lost in. There's one at the very end that is a giant fucking nightmare, to be quite honest. And it's a mirror maze, of course. Ah! this. Sure, why not? Level 32. I should be alright to take this boss on. Are we ready for a boss fight? Do this. I have chugged the water in the coffee. Use the creeper medallion. This looks fun. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. for a bullet hell game. <laughs> Shouldn't have made that magical dishwasher. <laughs> I was thinking this one might be off of like a magical lawnmower or something since it's like a garden variety monster. Oh shit. Oh, oh god. Okay. 
There's so much going on. having to redo this one. Yeah, the fire wheel does crazy amounts of damage most of the time. But I was needing that shield because of all that shmup crap I can't fucking dodge to save my life. Hey! We're almost done with the desert zone! The Blighted Blood, what a cheerful name for a place. Thanks for the follow! Wow, eh, good. Ow. They hurt you if they're just like there. That's obnoxious. Timing. More so than other areas in the game. Yeah, timing. Timing with this. Hey, these guys look angry. And that's an evil thing that I can't get past, so we will worry about that later. Come here, little guys. Some games that are hecka anime. Yes, please. So my character for the Planescape thing that I'm in is has like I barely even gave them anything other than explaining he's gonna be like a plucky thief kid, and they're like, oh, we needed a shonen anime hero type anyway. 
So I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's... I do that. That's the thing I do. That's what I'm here for. I can't say much more about him because, like, I don't know if any of them are potentially sneakily watching. Things. Why? Oh, how? Okay, that was rude. These guys I don't like. Ugh. No, he's gonna have like silvery white hair because that's also a thing I do with a lot of characters. I mean, he's not like a fire emblem hero. <laughs> yeah, still anime hair. <laughs> yeah, you actually know who this character is, Kiri. I'm adapting him, because I miss him a lot. Oh, wait! I didn't want to fall down that hole yet. Mm. <laughs> I figure I'm gonna go Arcane Trickster with him, because it's just appropriate. Uh, what's down here? Oh, wait, no, that's the way I came. God damn it, I'm such a moron! I'm sorry, guys. You have to watch me go through the same areas like eight times. Oh! Okay, that guy totally just fell down that hole. That was kind of great. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, but one of the party members is a... Because again, this is Planescape, so one of the party members is like a tiefling with tentacle hair and six eyes. So that's gonna be exciting. I think he's a Hexblade Warlock. Maybe I'm not supposed to go up up here yet. I swear, I keep running into you guys wherever I go. Did you know I was coming? Did the others tell you about me? If so, I'm sorry to say that I'm fresh out of Rotafruits right now. But if I happen upon one, I'll keep you in mind. Alright, uh, I think I probably should- there should have been a road of fruit I may need to have grabbed, and I bet it's down that hole. So, we are level grinding, because we're not lost yet. Ah! Ah! Her leg. How'd that guy headbutt me?
Oh, okay. Oh my god, these guys are hella aggressive. Boost mode! That was intense. There it is. There it is. So now I gotta walk through that all again. This gets so tricky because there's plenty of intentional backtracking they make you do. Um, so it can become very easy to be like, shit, should I have backtracked there? I don't know. What what is going on? When in doubt, fire lasers. Ah! Damn it. Hey, grinding. Yes, come chase me, little ones. <laughs> when in doubt, fire lasers is definitely not the worst policy. Come here, little guys. Come here. Let's play. They just gave up, huh? Dang. What did you do to make them so upset, Anarsis? one that's in here right now, but he's doing fine. Huh. <laughs> they won, but they still were just like, nah. Wow. Don't mind the pausing. Giving my hands a bit of a stretch. Loosen up a little bit. Let's give that little guy his food. Rune babble. Hey, 
new clothes. Did these guys just like rob a store before they came here? <laughs> At least he calls it out. I still have to wonder where you ruse are getting these things. But I guess ultimately it doesn't really matter. The point is you have them and you're willing to share. Thanks again. I'm in your debt. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Hugo is more than happy to lampshade the uh, oddities. <laughs> they robbed a gap before coming. <laughs> Certainly possible. The magic gap. Creepy. Oh my! Anyway... I'm gonna be real sad when I have to play through Unica's story and I'm gonna have to maintain this like super cutesy girl voice for the whole thing of it. She's adorable, but yeah. Rawr, kill all the things. I did do it to myself. It's fine. It's good practice. I need to work on my higher range anyway. It's a little weak. Oh boy, my trap mines just got stronger, which means I'm probably going to be needing to use them here. Ah, 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 this is poison. I'm going to die. Fuck, 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 fuck. I guess I should kill them. They're there. this. 
Oh, hello. Why? I got a key, which means there's a door that needs a key. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. thing. Okay. Although, I feel like there was a area over here that I could also get to. Nope. Okay. Whee! Spinny, spinny. Onward! Oh, shit. Hi. Oh, hey! These things! Yep. It's meant to keep you moving. The title of this track is Samsara and Paramnesia. I was always a little bummed this run didn't make it onto the arranged albums because I did like it. But the track selection on her is generally good. I figured I might run into you here. The Palma. <laughs> You're not poised for battle. I thought you said next time we met we'd settle things. You're one to talk. You're barely even paying attention to where you're walking. Besides, I don't need to worry about my stance or any of that crap. I could crush you like a bug without batting an eye. <laughs> so why don't you then? Oh, well... Uh... <laughs> Alright, that's enough smack talk for one day. Trying to fight in a place like this would be pretty damn stupid. We'd probably both fall to our deaths. Fair point indeed. Perhaps it would be best if we simply skipped the battle royale altogether for now. We are both rather busy, after all. Uh, hey! You trying to brush me off or something? 
You're the one who suggested we not fight here. Or have you already changed your mind about that? Uh, no. It's just... Since we happen to run into each other like this, I thought... Maybe I could share the good news. Though, strictly speaking, I guess it's only good news for us, not you guys. I don't like the sound of that. Lady Rhea hasn't been captured, has she? Uh, no, no. Not yet, anyway. It's just a matter of time now. Meaning? Dallas has joined the hunt personally. He's been tied up with his ritual all this time, but I guess it's finally done and ready to go. So now he's able to focus all his energy on trying to nab the Black Pearl. Dallas, that's your leader, no? He must be a man of considerable ability. Probably, but I don't know a damn thing about how you magic users measure that kind of stuff, so I can't really judge. I sure wouldn't want to cross him, though. I have no doubt he could snuff me out in no time flat. I'd even be willing to bet he's a match for your precious goddesses. Maybe even stronger. Stronger than the goddesses? Come now, you shouldn't speak on matters you know nothing about. Well, like I said, I can't really measure these things. I'm just going with my gut here. But never mind that, we're getting off topic. The real fun fact about Dallas is that he's been asking about you. What? What could he possibly want to know about me? Well, you do have those eye things, and I gotta admit, they're pretty powerful. Maybe they caught his interest. Who knows? Or maybe... Maybe... Ah, uh, nothing. I'd just watch my back if I were you. Think of this as... Sisterly advice. My dumb little bro does tend to get pretty cocky sometimes, after all. Since when have I been your little brother? And I am neither dumb nor cocky, thank you. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Must have been some other cocky dumbass I found collapsed by that door in Rado's annex, then. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd fill you in. Catch you later. <sighs> she really is an oddball. But I have no reason to distrust her. I'll have to be on my guard. This Dallas individual sounds like he could be a problem. Aw, oh boy, you have no idea. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I wouldn't RIP the ship yet. That was like deflecting, maybe, a little. But seriously, those two need to just. Yeah, those two. Blood. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I need to put on the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, well, I would say there's always Musha, but really there's not. But yes, Kiri makes quite the point. Go. 
god, I hope there's some Claria coming up soon. I'm pretty sure I need it because I'm not doing the damage I should be. Although these guys are super tough. Shipper. <laughs> Indeed she is. Hey, there's that Claria ore I was hoping for. And I cannot see my screen because Percy is stretching and he's very tall. Come here, kitty. Sit down. Coffee break. There we go. Onward! <laughs> I really gotta get some heals, man. I'm hurting. Oh, I know what I can do. Take a breather with this cloak thing. There we go. All better. go that way yet. Actually, no, I should get blessings first and then save. Strengthen my armor, please! Mm. Oh, so many good ideas! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's all I can afford for the moment. And while we're standing here at the statue, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I needed more water. Talking, like, kind of destroys your throat after a while. It's weird. <sighs> Alright. Let's see where this leads. Hmm. Oh, this, this is not okay. Come over here, you jerk. Seriously? Yeah, I can believe it. I'm also super bad about drinking water a lot of the time, so I really need to just, like, get better at that. Ah! Fuck. Oh well, apparently I needed to come down here anyway. That's smart. I don't really bot plan on ever like editing these down or doing anything with them, so it's just for fun.
Okay. Ah! God damn it. I so clumsy. going on? Ah! Uh, Hugo, right? What happened here? Are these the rest of the knights? I'm afraid so. It was awful. They were all turned to stone right in front of me. Alright, calm down. Just tell me exactly what happened. Okay. We were searching for Lady Rhea, of course. And all of a sudden, the sorcerer in black robes appeared out of nowhere. He chanted some kind of spell, and then everyone was just... Poof! Solid rock! <sighs> Petrification curses are no simple task to pull off. Whoever did this was a top-tier sorcerer. It could only have been Dallas. Apono was right, he's on the move now. And he's obviously trying to make his presence felt. Uh, um, Hugo? What do we do in a situation like this? Please tell me there's something we can do for them. Nope, sorry, they're stoned. I mean... I hate to admit it, but this is well beyond my abilities. I believe your best course of action would be to consult Kadina or Father Shion and await further instructions. Oh. You do have a Leela shell, don't you? If so, then I leave this matter in your hands. Now, if you'll please excuse me, there's other business I must attend to. Uh. Oh, wait! I've heard people talk about you before. They say you're a magic prodigy. The successor to House Fact. Are you sure there isn't anything you can do to help? Even if it's a long shot, I'll take it. I'm no expert on curses. And I don't have time to waste here. My efforts are better spent continuing the search. A logical division of labor is of paramount importance in times like these. Especially when we're down several members. Uh, time to... waste? Hmm? This is not a waste of time! What is that power of yours even good for, anyway? It seems like you only ever use it to help yourself. Well, you know what? That's just fine by me. I'll figure this all out on my own. <laughs> He's such a monster! What is my power good for? <laughs> Not indeed. <laughs> he sure is uh, good with the ladies.
Okay, now where was that door that I needed the key for again? I forget. Because of course I do. Because I'm me. Um. Hmm. Thanks, Kiri. <laughs> I think it was up here. Although... I'm a moron. I have Claria ore, so I need to go pay our little friend a visit. Sometimes you happen to help, too. <laughs> magic in this world strong enough to petrify a living human. But then how would I know? No one from East would ever abuse the goddess's gift so flagrantly. Alright, just temper my weapon, dude. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um Sorry. Was it down here? Maybe? No. Just these obnoxious little lobster guys. I guess I do need to backtrack. Well, fine then. No, this was just a one-off area, I think. Yeah. It. 
Oh boy. Whee! Oh no, not not another one of these. Fuck. Out fire lasers still seems to be the best policy so far. Boing. curious about that other passage, so I'm gonna go that way first. Well, second. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with you guys again for the moment. This is tall. Oh, I'm impressed. Getting this far is no small feat. Tall. We've obviously gotten a lot stronger. But if you don't pay more attention to your surroundings, that won't mean much. I could have easily attacked you from behind just now, and you'd have been none the wiser. think you're in any position to give me combat advice? You're going to wish you had attacked me from behind. Seems you're still in denial. I suppose then you haven't given any more thought to what I said before. About the nature of your power. Ha! <laughs> Aniki! <laughs> if it'll put your mind at ease. You may take solace in knowing that you'll never be like me. Nor will I ever be like you. What? Well, I just got the black pearl? What are you trying to pull? What the hell is this? It's the black pearl, of course. Or a scale model thereof, at least. This particular item was constructed by Dallas for a dry run of the ritual. The fake or no, the magic contained within is quite potent. It should be sufficient for reversing the knight's petrification. Oh, wait! Why are you giving this to me? Are you playing some sort of sick joke? You're so confident you'll win, you figured you'd take pity on me or something? <laughs> I guess you could call it returning a favor. I owe Galleon and the others quite a bit. It's probably too little too late, I know. But either way, there it is. Do with it what you will. Traders trying to play both sides, I guess. <sighs> A replica of the Black Pearl, huh? A 
In other words, a bunch of raw magical energy shoved into a ball. How the hell is that supposed to help anything? Alright. Well... Leveled. Although, I have to say, it's interesting to see that the bad guys are prepared or smart enough to be like, you know, this is a pretty powerful ritual. Maybe we should practice with a fake first? <laughs> it's oddly practical and not something you often hear them do. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ugh. This is a good point. Yeah, you definitely don't get this, this much detail as to what the baddies are up to on uh, Unica's run. Because sweet baby girl is really brave and everything, but she's also pretty clueless. Out, try the Lula shell, I guess. Commander Galleon reported that he found a key to the upper levels, but shortly afterward, he and the other knights were turned to stone. I imagine the key was petrified along with them. Everyone's desperately searching for a means of breaking his petrification curse, but I fear there's little we can do with our current resources. Well, I can take care of that, and I think I just need to head back. I'm operating on memory at this point, which is hilarious and not great for me. We shall see what happens. So I'm going to go back to Rado's Annex and assume that maybe I should talk to... Kadena, at least, if because I don't know if anybody else wants to talk to Hugo anymore. Not that I blame them. Hi, Percy. Ah, there we go. So, if we can find a way to power the stone idol, Roy and the others can be saved. I believe so, but it won't be an easy task. Petrification is a very powerful type of curse. Undoing it will require finding an immense store of magic to serve as the idol's core. Uh, core? Like, it has to fit inside this tiny thing? And how's enough energy to undo the curse? Yeah. A small piece of jewelry might work, like that ring from earlier. 
anyone found anything else like that, though? Now I get it. Well, if it isn't Hugo. Welcome back. Thank you for putting so much effort into the search for my sister. Wait. What do you have? I'm sensing an overwhelmingly strong power emanating from your pack. I believe this would be its source. Will it fit? It should have enough magic in it to get the job done, at the very least. And he hands over the Black Pearl thing to Unica. Oh. <laughs> it's as if you read our minds. Unica, if you would, please place both the idol and that gem on the ground in front of me. Okay. Now then, let the joining begin. Basically, they just shoved the black pearl rock into a hole on the idol's head, so that's cool. Well, that certainly seems to have done the trick. I can't believe it! If you hold that high in the air, the idol's gaze should negate the knight's petrification. You should hurry back to them. There's no time to lose. I'm on it! <laughs> Her enthusiasm is quite refreshing, don't you think? Thank you so much, Hugo. On behalf of Unica as well. I know this is weighing heavily on her mind. I feared she was about to lose hope. But in one fell swoop, you've given it all back to her. Truth be told, I'm just the messenger. The object itself compliments of my brother. What? It's from Toll? Interesting. Nonetheless, you deserve our thanks as well. You are the messenger, after all. If it weren't for you, we'd still be without recourse. It was nothing, really. No, if you'll excuse me. There's work to be done. Here go. <sighs> Cheery as ever, that boy. He still has yet to find his way. It's only natural, I suppose. Most children of men become lost at one time or another, and grow as a result offered guidance to countless such lost souls as they've worked through their tumultuous events in their lives. But this is different. Hugo's struggle runs much deeper, and I don't like the implications of what I'm sensing. Alright. Time to go get a key, I think. So many stairs, why? Flip the clap. All right. We're gonna spend some sarcasm points and get some blessings. Hmm. I think I like this one. And we shall save. And I think that's a good spot to wrap. Because I know what's coming up. And both my hands and my voice are tired. <laughs> and Anarsis, you are close. We, we will see.
I'll probably continue tomorrow and we will see what happens next. My voice needs to be in decent shape for that. But that's enough of that for tonight, I think. And see, after we finish with Hugo's storyline, there's still Unica and Toll to play. I don't know who should go next. I know, who knew, who knew there could be such drama just climbing a tower? Also, P.S. My cat is chewing on me and kicking my hands and being a jerk, both mostly, right now. Yeah, um, yes, Galushi. Let me show you. the The whole point of this game is actually um, you are supposed to play as each of the three. Oh, hey, and I accidentally exited the game. That was not what I meant to do. I just wanted to go back to the title. Um, there are three main characters, of which Hugo is one. And they're kind of listed in the order that you, like, the recommended order to play them. Um, because you get a complete story that way. You start off as Unica, who knows basically nothing. Uh, and you go through her storyline. Then you can play through Hugo, and you learn a lot more about bad shit going on. And the, uh, arguably the true ending is when you play as quote-unquote the Claw, who you lay in who in Hugo's story you find out is Toll, his brother. And you kind of get the true ending that way. It's all basically the same, um content and the same bosses and stuff, but their playstyles are all very different. Because Unica is an axe-wielding, adorable cinnamon roll, so her stuff is all melee. Hugo, of course, basically is like a shoot-em-up. Uh, and Toll is like super fast and also a meleeer, but he plays very differently from Unica, who is like slower and a little more powerful. So yeah, that's how this one works. And we're playing Hugo's storyline now because Kiri told me to. She was the only one watching when I first kicked off this playthrough and uh, so she picked. <laughs> Though really, I usually play as him anyway, because he's my favorite. Nope! The majority of the E series is more melee oriented anyway, because the main character that you usually play, uh, Adol Kristen, is a swordsman. In fact... I know I said we'd quit, but let's just have a little more fun, shall we? Just to show you guys some coolness. Uh, let's see. I need to do a quick configuration thing here, though. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, well, I'm gonna at least open up Oath and Felgana. I don't know if I'll actually play, but I'll show it briefly. I just need to make sure, okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh no, it's all stretchy. That was messed up. Bear with me, guys. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, that's why. Okay. I think I got it this time. I think I'm going to have to add the source, though. Oh, no. It went through. Okay. Or did it? Oh, good. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Yeah, this one is actually a little bit older than uh, Origin, and it's a remake of the third East game. I'm not going to read dialogue or anything because my voice is tired, but let's just quickly walk through the intro so you can see it. Oh, and the other thing about Adol is he's a silent protagonist. Which was the norm for the series until Origin. No, he's not an asshole at all. He's just a nice kid. He's pretty tough. He can take care of himself. <laughs> and look, obligatory, adorable girl. <laughs> and there's Dogie. The, um... PSP version of this game does have voice acting. So if you want to have, like, ever play it and have actual voice acting from, like, standard voice actor folks, uh, get the PSP version. In fact, I am, like, 90% sure Patrick Seitz was probably Dogie. She's kind of moe, but Elena's adorable.
course, they have the obligatory intro thing. Um, God, 2003, I think? Before HD monitors, let's put it that way. <laughs> well, they came out in Japan a long time ago, and um, Xseed only very recently was bringing them out here. There's like an interesting long story behind that, but the localization guy who was kind of in charge of them over at XE is actually a... I guess he's a friend of mine. We all used to be on this like fan message board for this series ages ago. And he got a job with XE and convinced them to start bringing these games out. I know the guy who translated Origin in the movie. It was originally going to be a fan patch. And yes, it is definitely because they're PC games that they didn't come out here as much. They're pretty decent, or they were decently popular in Japan. But, yeah, they were not not often localized out here. See, Galusha, you, you now need to get all of these games. They're all on Steam. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think that was at like a weird preset kind of a volume. It sounded loud to me too. Anyway, you need to get these games, Galushi. They're all on Steam. Yes, indeed, there are. <laughs> Be warned that the style does shift because it is a series that has been running for a long time. So we're, we're talking a series that is on par with like Final Fantasy in terms of its lifespan. Uh, so the f games one and two, which are remakes of the originals from way, 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 way back when. Um, have a very different playstyle from these. This one we're in now, Felgana, is a remake of the third East game. Uh, four didn't get remade until well after Origin and a couple others. So it has a completely different playstyle now, uh, which is much more modern. It's, it's one of the most recent ones. There's actually an eighth. Yeah, the eighth one is coming. I think it might be out on the Vita. But uh, those all have a very different playstyle. I have not played them, so I can't speak to them, but most people seem to like them. And by most people, I mean most longtime fans of the series. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're finally, like, putting them out across various consoles and things these days. Uh, Falcom also has the, uh, tra Trails in the Sky and Cold Trails and, like, all those series. That's all Falcom stuff as well. They're more traditional RPGs.
So yeah, East Origin was... It, it doesn't actually have a proper place in the overall scenario because it's actually a prequel to the entire series, which is why you don't have Mr. Red-Haired Adol here as a hero, because it's like a thousand years before he was even born. Uh, but the rest of the series, Adol is the hero. And as far as I know, unless it's changed in the recent ones, he does not talk. Ever. But they made some anime of these a long time ago, too. Like, in the 90s. <laughs> That's fine. I will play through them so you can basically see what happens. Or at least I'll play through the ones I like. <laughs> They're pretty short games too, luckily. That's the other reason I like them. Yeah, there was a... I don't remember which of the games, but they gave him dialogue and it didn't go over well. We're also still waiting for them to, like, remake the fifth game, because that came out on the Super Nintendo and only the Super Nintendo and only in Japan. Wow, Doki. Wow. Dude. Although I do love that he basically is very well aware of his place in the RPG canon. You're the sidekick, Doki. I get all the chicks. Thank you very much. Yeah, I agree. That's why I actually didn't jump in Galushi on the um, newer games, because the playstyle looked so wildly different from this. I was a little put off. Um, supposedly they're still fun, but I really enjoy these games. If I can get out of the story shit, I can fix the sound.
Okay. I will reduce the volume of this for later. Anyway... That's more or less the gist of that. So yeah, the E series. That's... That's basically them. I might play through the, the older ones later, but Origin is my fave still. Uh, Oath and Felgana is quite good. I haven't played Ark of Napishtim in such a very long time that I can't judge, <laughs> but it was pretty good too. It's older than the other two. And like I said, I haven't played the new one, so... I can't talk about them yet. Try them out if you want, though. And if you like them, spread the good word, because it's a great series. Do you have a moment to talk about our edgelord and sastwad, Hugo? Hmm. That, that is... That is an accurate description. It is an accurate description. Oh yes, to further push the, uh virtues of the series all the music is pretty darn great and it's all like every falcon soundtrack ever is on spotify because they're cool like that so i would highly recommend looking it up if you enjoyed what you heard Okay, true, but, like, I don't know if my VO's that good for every character, but thanks. It's like DMing. I guess as long as the emotion's there, it's okay. To be honest, I was a little sad that they didn't uh, throw voice acting on these PC ones. I don't know why they didn't. I think Origin was just something that they went ahead and released, but it was done cheaply and quickly. Okay, this is true. You're all still here, so apparently I must not suck that bad. Aww. Thanks. Very much appreciated. No lie, it's gonna be super fucking taxing when I get to our evil sorcerer boss man. I need to figure out what he's gonna sound like. And you know, when you have a cast of like 
17 characters all in one scene, that gets a little terrifying. Hugo's easy, though. I roleplay characters like him all the time. <laughs> yes, I was thinking about that, Kiri. Oh. <laughs> I'm growing fond of my opponent voice. I feel like I could pull that off decently. Accents do do much for uh, shifting things a bit, too. Um, it's going to be interesting when I do this Planescape campaign. Oh, uh, the mousy girl that Hugo yelled at? Musha. See, oh man, I hate that one so bad. I really have to warm up more when I have to do a, a tiny, tiny sweet girl voice. I can do it, but it takes, I have to do a lot of warming up to get there first. So it's hard to switch between like Hugo, who is mostly me speaking in my normal voice, but sounding like a douchebag. And Misha, who's way up here somewhere. I can't do it. My voice is hurting me, so I can't do it. But you get the idea. He's such a jerk. <gasps> Falcom seems to have something about, like, smart blonde guys being royal dickbags because there's one of them in Felgana as well. We saw about two seconds of him. He was that knight that was standing there in the castle. He's also a bastard. And I believe in the PSP version, which was voiced, uh, he was voiced by Derek Stephen Prince. It's, I'm sorry, it's probably honestly terrifying how often I remember who voices what character in anything I see. It's possibly a weird obsession of mine. <laughs> you know, I like to know these things. Uh, see, but now I'm looking on Steam at E7 and it's only 25 bucks and I'm seriously struggling not to hit the add to cart button. <sighs> ah, yes. See, Galushi, I was a fan of voice acting and voice actors way before I ever even heard of Critical Role. Yeah, I'm like that in Narciss. I do too. It's always fun when I catch catch them at their craft, as it were. There's a lot of uh, voice actors out there now that I don't quite recognize because there's a lot of new ones coming out and about on the market, as it were. Uh, no, it's not on sale, but it's $25. But... I have it on my watch list, so when it goes on sale, I will definitely pick it up. But I need to play through the others first. You are right. <laughs> Running out of games to play is not going to happen. Um, once I finish Origin, though, I'm probably going to briefly bounce over to Secret of Mana because I know that's coming out next week. In a couple days, basically. And I have to play that. I must. I must. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't watched. I like. I watch anime periodic. Yeah, I did just say Secret of Mana, dude. Best game ever, probably. I think. You know. That game was formative to my identity as a person. Hmm. 
Hmm, see, Chrono Trigger was awesome as well. Uh, Secret of Mana is the one that just struck the chord with me. Everybody says that the co-op was the thing that made it great, but I never played the co-op because I didn't have any gamer friends at the time. So I played it by myself and I loved it. Yeah, that's understandable. Oh man, I always wanted co-op Skyrim. Kiri and I wanted to play that together, but it just, yeah. <laughs> the closest that they get with that is like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, but that is, you know, an MMO. Although, it plays enough like a uh, Elder Scrolls game to make me happy, so I enjoy it. And you do make a good point, Anarsis. <laughs> I think I I think I picked up a copy of Baldur's Gate I tried to play it but ugh, woof that old system does not do well by me these days I'll stick to Pillars of Eternity <laughs> updated just enough to be tolerable. I do like the Dragon Age Inquisition, for instance, kind of has a, um, a sort of co-op mode. The only thing that sucks is you definitely need a full group to survive through it because it's hard. It is super fun, though. Wow, that actually sounds like Pathfinder would be really tolerable that way. I have the, like, a couple of the Pathfinder books, but holy crap! Just reading about it, I'm like, wow, I will never play this system because I can't even begin to understand it.
Floating modifiers. I literally don't even know what that means. Ah, yes, the auto heal after combat. See, I'm a lightweight and I actually am fine with that. <laughs> as as probably evidenced by the fact that I'm playing the E series on easy mode. Ha <laughs> ha. Admittedly though, I don't play most of those games for the um combat as much as I do for the story, so having a mode where I don't have to stress about that shit is nice. It'd be cool if it was one of those features they'd let you turn off if you wanted to, like, have the additional challenge. Kind of like Friendly Fire. Because, like, uh... Dragon Age Origin, I... Th yeah, Dragon Age Origins, I think, had, um... A Friendly Fire feature you could turn off. Or, yeah, well, yeah, I was trying to think. Friendly Fire that you could turn off, yes. It had Friendly Fire by default, and then you had to um, turn it off if you wanted to, like, not hate yourself. <laughs> See, I hate the engine of the original one. It's annoying and slow to me. I liked the engine in 2 and uh, Inquisition way more. But... I understand why people like the, the first one. And I love all of the games. They are one of my favorite franchises. Mm-hmm. I think that was, it was basically directly inspired by that, if I remember rightly, of like the things the Bioware folks said. Which is super cool. Three point five point five, yes. Pathfinder has some pretty neat ideas.
Oh, a 5e Pathfinder hybrid? Dude. And Percy just tried to attack the cursor on my screen because he's insane. This cat's a nutcase. What? No, 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 no. He's like a weird combination of chill but hyper. I don't know. He's a goofball. I love him though. Please sit down, Percy. Please. But I think with that, uh, I will close out the stream and give, give my hand a bit of a rest from all that keyboard mashing with this game. Yeah, it's a bit late, so perhaps we will do this again tomorrow night. I'll, I'll give you guys the heads up whenever that happens. Of course! Thank you for hanging out. It's super fun to be able to, like, chatter with people while I run around throwing magic at stuff. It makes it more exciting. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Good night!